Hey guys, welcome back to Dead Rising 3. Uh, today we're going to get back into the story, finally. Hooray! Seems finally! Like a, seems Rhonda. like a long time. Yeah, you gotta check in with Rhonda. Yeah. You, you remember why? Um, You're looking for plane parts. Plane parts. That is correct. <laughs> right. Yep. We're going to go back to our Mad Max looking outfit. Okay. It looks pretty uh, good. You're not yeah. a blonde anymore. Blondes have all the fun. So I've heard. So I've heard. This looks stealthy. You won't be seen as easily in the night. Except your skin is too bright. You gotta... I, I don't think the game allows blackface. Oh. Um, Racist? Not exactly open-ended, is it? Mm, I, I guess not. <laughs> I don't think it ever claimed to be that open-ended. You could probably mod it if it's on the PC. Uh, there is PC version of uh, this game, yes. Okay. So it's already heavily modded. Probably. Mm -hmm. Although I don't know how popular it was. You know. I wonder if there's a Sex with Zombies mod. No I, I hope particular. not. Oh, I'm sure there is. Uh, okay, let's let's just cut that <laughs> Shocked conversation. Shocked if there wasn't. Right there. If anyone's uh, watching this, please post in the thread if you know of any mods like that. Post screenshots. Yeah. God. Uh, man, the split shot's so much fun running through crowds. What happened to skill? You don't need skill. This is <laughs> next you hit gen. Everything in a cone in front of you. <laughs> the future. The future is now. Ride that pink motorbike. I maybe, think it's orange. it's orange. Yeah. The light was pink from the strip club. As they tend to be. It's true. I Except for know. solid golds. Their lights are gold. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> of course. Obviously. <laughs> when it's open. <laughs> and the Beef Baron, which... <laughs> I bet they have pink lights. They I think shut they're down, red and pink, so... Right. I've never been. Oh man, we get off topic easy these days. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're just riding a motorcycle. We're gonna talk true. about strip clubs a little bit. You make a good point. I really, I really want to get my motorcycle's license, but I'm just positive that's how I die. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you're my friend, and I don't want you to die, so I'm gonna somehow sabotage it. <laughs> I, I just know that's how I die, so I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> You all watched me try and ride a dirt bike that one time. Oh, oh my drunk. god, yeah. Crashed into the house almost? A couple times. Was that you or Swordfish who almost crashed into the house? No, I, no, was, I didn't even it ride me. it. Oh, who, yeah, who else because, rode it? Well, I think it's just me. No, oh. I got on it, but my I had piercings and they hurt too much for me to put the helmet over my head. So. Oh, right. I just didn't do it, but yeah, goddamn. <laughs> All and right. then later that night, I took all this dirty oil and burned it. Oh, well, that's good. It was fun. I think I could have learned, given a few more tries. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, that, that. Maybe a little bit of a wide open space. And maybe if he explained better how the brake works. Yes, that was important. <laughs> I found out after there was a foot brake, so I, <laughs> I didn't have to try and grab the front brake without twisting the gas, which was difficult for me. Yeah, I mean, the the gas, so you rev it, like, you know how people, like, rev it in, like, movies? But, like, yeah. when you accelerate too quickly, you're also, like, I don't know, your first instinct is to rev it, you know? Yeah, you, you're you kind do of not pushed... keep both wheels on the ground, let me tell you. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Anyway. We grabbed that. We grabbed that last stash that we were uh, told about at the end of the last video. Yeah, you uh, didn't have shit in it. That's why we talked over it. Yeah. Well, hey, man, it had one of those uh, stashes are garbage. It had the ultra thing, the sound. Oh my god, I can't remember what it's called. The mega boom. Yeah, that. Sure. <laughs> Which I think it should have been called. So. I don't remember what it's called, but we got one of them, and it's good. The voice in Loudener. Yeah, that. You know what you know what I'm talking about. I just yeah, I do. Yeah. The 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 speaker with the traffic cone. Yep. I dig it. 
I don't know what it's called. Oh god. Yeah, fuck it. Screw it. Um, at this point here, I'm trying to find um, a hunk of meat to mix with my dynamite. So I'm trying to chop a, chop one off a zombie, and it's not going too well. Can you just slash their dead bodies so you get a hunk of meat? No, I don't think so. I think it spawns as you kill them. Why do you need one? Uh, to make a dynamite. But then I remembered Why? that that's in here. Oh. Oh, there you go. Remember this? Look at you go. Yeah. Why do you need one, though? Oh, just because I want it. Do it's I remember you... this? What? I don't know. I don't remember shit. <laughs> Who's <Good> this? Lord. <laughs> Who'd you just talk to right now? It's... Oh my god, <laughs> shut blambo? up. blambo? Uh, we actually already got the blambo. We picked that blueprint up a while ago. I don't know why it gave it to us at the end of chapter 5. It's weird. <laughs> it's a duplicate. But yeah, chapter 5 is three over. Three days remaining and you have three days left. Yep. Is she ready yet? We still need those parts. Jesus, man. We gotta get out of here. Listen, the good news is I found this letter from that Richie Rich collector in Sunset Hills. The one with the plane fetish? He's got the parts! He wants to donate him. I say, let's help a man out. Hey, don't worry. He's okay now. Diego, help me put the fuel in the plane while Nick's gone. I can't do it by myself. Can't pump gas by herself. So she's just sitting here writing letters to people, asking for donations. <laughs> Her pen pal with a plane fetish. Which is all pen pals, actually, now that... What happened to earning your airplane parts? Oh my god, right? what are you even talking about? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I forgot to record. There's some new... Some new dialogue. Things are gonna be different from now on. Do they change his voice actor, like, mid-game? No, and actually he has no new dialogue. But Dick shout. does. I smell like a pig farm, man. You actually kind of do, man. It's weird. Get your ass to Sunset Hills, man. You heard the lady. Up to. It's your ass I'm saving, man. Remember that. Dick's got a couple things to say, and Rhonda's got a couple things to say, and hers are actually kind of interesting. I can't believe Dick doesn't talk about his dick more. We are so close. <laughs> you get those parts, and we are free and clear. I can't wait to get out of this place. Looking at all those wasted lives has got me really thinking about my purpose here in this crazy world. Keep focus, Rhonda. We're almost there. <sighs> I wonder if my ex made it this far. Maybe he's out there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I think she's brought ex. up her ex, ex-husband a couple times. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're being sent to <laughs> rob someone's house. So that's, yeah. Oh, donate. Yeah, we're, we're picking up donations. Yeah. Well, so it's true. He did want to donate the parts, but he didn't necessarily probably, want to probably donate to a museum. To us. Yeah. But where did she get that letter? Had, like, did she literally write someone a letter in the middle of the Zompod? No, no. So the reason the plane is at the warehouse is that he donated that plane. So oh. a bunch of the paperwork there was from him about other stuff he was donating. I see. But if they were parts for that plane, I'm not sure why they're not with that plane. Although I guess if it was going in a museum, it wasn't supposed to be functional in the first place. True. And it might not be parts of that plane. It just might be random airplane parts from other planes. Mm, that's true. You just make them Where's work. What's the part? Uh, they are a rudder arm, an altimeter, and a flywheel. Oh yeah, I remember the I altimeter. The altimeter at least is pretty universal. Yeah, I mean an altimeter is... Yeah, you could probably use any altimeter. Do you even really need it, though? Like, just look at the window. Nah, you, you kind of need it. Like, old school. It's, it's like, how you land. Yeah. Can you just, you like, need to know how close plane, the ground like... is underneath you, because you reach a certain point where you can't see the ground. You can't well, tell how far the ground is. How the fucking White Brothers do it? The, like, the Wright Brothers... They failed, like, a million times first. That's they also only flew a couple meters off the ground. Yeah. And a piece of paper. But um, a flywheel is kind of interesting because the flywheel is usually an engine component, and uh, I don't think they're universal. I think they're usually designed to fit 
uh, within sort of the engine compartment. They're machined, specially. Well, yeah. Like, like on how it's made. Yeah. Good show. It is a good show. Oh, I watched a neat episode of How It's Made the other day. But you don't. And they did a special. Special on what? Um, it was like a full event. Like I think it was like the first one was like a NASCAR thing, like how they do everything to do with a NASCAR competition. Hmm. And it was like NASCAR How It's Made or something like that. I believe it. And then. I don't know. There's been some neat stuff out of them from them lately. Hmm. They really listen to their fans, basically. They haven't listened to me yet. Bring back all the puns. <laughs> Did they stop doing that? Uh, no, they, they have, still make puns. They have when they fewer can. though. Fewer. Yeah. The writers aren't as good. Mm. Yeah. That's like yeah. my dream job. <laughs> <laughs> Writing puns. Yeah, oh, seriously, that's that and raising fennec foxes are like if chemistry doesn't work out. <laughs> I like, feel like okay, so I, I've heard I've heard baby fennec foxes, and it sounds like not a dream job. It's pretty terrible, yeah. I like mean, I, they're cute and all, but the good lord, that sound! I like a day of that. Yeah. And apparently, they don't ever shut up. I have some space in the backyard. They're not all as yippy as as some of them. But apparently, like, from what I've heard, like they just never shut up for like the first year or two. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's a pretty awful sound, but yeah. Really but they're cute. It. Yeah, exactly. They're all right. I, I got it. <laughs> it's like my... Oh, don't say it. My ex-wife <laughs> like, makes a terrible sound. But... <laughs> See, I, I, if I had to raise an animal, it'd be otters. Otters are the shit. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think you just went up me. Otters are pretty cute, too. Can we both raise otters? Yeah. I think so. We just need lots of bathtubs. There is a video on YouTube of a couple who owns two otters, and it's just them running around, swimming in the bathtub, and then like running around the beds and stuff like that. It's amazing. That's adorable. I love it. Otters are smart too. Like you could train them to like go through little doggy doors and steal food, and then you wouldn't have to feed them. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. All right. All right. Uh, we're here at the collector's house, and it's actually called I can in tell, game. Tell because there's an airplane on the wall. The collector. There are airplanes everywhere. Like you can try and count the number of airplanes in this house. I've seen two so far. Uh, flaming gloves. Boxing gloves and motor oil. That's... Classic. <laughs> yeah. I don't let you use these no more. <laughs> no. Uh, they're, they're pretty good. They're, I, I don't think they're anything particularly special. But... I feel like it would look cool in like a movie, slow motion punch. Yeah. Do you remember the end of Crank 2? Yeah. Where the dude uh, is just like literally on, on fire. fire. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And he's imagining uh, that one girl as he kisses the. Uh, oh yeah. Like Thai prostitute or whatever. Yeah. Good ending. Great movie. Honestly, Great if they made a third movies. one, I'd see it in theaters. Oh yeah, me too. Third attack. Uh, this last part again is the right trigger attack for punch weapons. Just, just sucks. Just sucks. It's awful. All right, yeah, let's get. I'm on the ground. Burn down the house. <laughs> Intruder lockdown now commencing. If this system has been activated in error, please confirm at the alarm system control panel. What a twist! <laughs> it's like my favorite thing about this mission. There are hundreds of zombies just wandering in and out of the house at any given time and you walk in the the garage door and it activates the security alarm it detects souls oh, oh. all right i like it <laughs> perfect ah. now whose birthday was it presumably the collectors dying on his birthday also that cake looks like the type that something jumps out of and I'm yep. really sad that a zombie doesn't pop out of it. <laughs> oh man, that would that be is, so good. That is actually a little disappointing. That'd be a great set piece. Oh, plane. Three planes. Ha ha ha. So during that little cutscene, I looked it up, and 
According to Urban Dictionary, uh, plain fetish dude is an aviophile. Yeah. That sounds right. It's, uh, Urban Dictionary. No, that, that would make sense. Aviation. Oh, there's pictures of planes. And a sword above mm -hmm. the bed. Oh. Can you hmm. take the sword? You can take the sword if you wanted to. I sword, don't, did, but... Did you find any fedoras in the house? I... not so far. Do you find an alarm code? Uh, not so far. Also, there's this. Um, I don't know what it's trying to say. What did it say? It said, with yeah. this for company, it's no wonder she wanted to die, or something like that. Maybe all the planes? It, uh, that's the only thing I can think of, but it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. I mean, he likes planes. Planes are cool, right? Yeah, I mean, they're okay. Yeah. And how do we know she wanted to die? She didn't, probably. It's just, it's supposed to be like a funny little comment, or a sad comment. I, I don't know. Did Maybe. it say she? It said she. No, oh, that was easy. I you like the, the name of that weapon yet. Ultimate shout. Ultimate shout. I really like the zombies crashing through the skylights. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fancy painting. You got what you came for. <laughs> oh, there's stuff behind it. Yeah, it's an alarm panel. Thank you for your verification. Lockdown deactivated. Now, where are those parts? So, fun fact. I'm a little disappointed you didn't have to, like, find his zombie hand and put it on the fingerprint thing. Actually, that would have been good. Yeah. Hmm. You guys are good at thinking of things. It's been all Cletus so far, I think. Thank you. Um, <laughs> none of the parts are in the house. So if we just didn't go in the house in the first place, uh, we would have been fine. But we would have missed that awesome lockdown thing. That's true. I like the first part, uh, this zombie's carrying it around. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. It's okay if it's exploded a little bit. Yeah. It's just a rudder arm. Yeah, I mean a rudder arm is pretty much just a... Yeah. A flange. No, not a flange. But... Oh perfect, you needed that particle board for the same joke! Come on, swordfish, step it up. Step it up. You let, you gotta let the wine do the talking. Uh, all right, hold on. Oh, Good night, mate. It's no, yellow no. It's not Foster's. <laughs> uh, no, I did have a tail, really though. great oh, oh Australian wine. We got another uh, weapon, the puke so hazard. Just chemical. Did she fake puke out? Uh, it shoots acid. Not good enough. It's chemicals and a lead pipe. I always think it's a leaf blower since it looks like it's a leaf blower, but it is a leaf blower. But you don't use a leaf blower to make it. That's dumb. It, it's basically a flamethrower that shoots acid instead of fire. Well, I guess it, yeah, I guess it keeps a leaf blower from being like a collectible item. I guess. I don't know. I just wonder. Maybe they intended to have it be a leaf blower and then had to change it at some point. It's a leaf blower. Yep. That's what a leaf blower looks like with oh, a no, metal it, rod it, and a bag I, attached. I agree with you. You just don't use a leaf blower to make it. It's, it's hilarious. Point. It looks super ineffective, though. Yeah, it's it's not great. Um, the sort of elemental attack, the the acid thing, it, it, it works. Just not... You want to kill things ten seconds from when you hit them. Yeah, it's not particularly quick. And usually when I'm trying to kill zombies, I want it to be pretty quick. Makes sense. At close range, especially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm still sort of impressed with the variety of different zombies you see in this game. Oh yeah, yeah, they did a really good job. Hey, one of your old illegal pals over at South Almuda Station. He's in trouble, man. Shit. Looks like the flywheel was already sent to a courier in Ingleton. Gotta find it. Yeah, so it's, oh, it's such a pain. It's never easy. We got to go all the way across the city to find the, the last part. Um, I do yeah, want to say something. Is... You're talking about the variety of zombies. Mm -hmm. So this is actually something they talked about when the game was coming out. They have a system where um, all the different like clothing and accessories on zombies are mm -hmm. procedurally generated. 
So the oh, actual yeah. the zombie models are standard, but then like yeah. this guy's wearing a green shirt, this guy's wearing a blue shirt, this guy has a hat, this guy doesn't. All that stuff is procedurally generated, which makes it seem like there's tons of different models. Yeah, and, and they figured that was kind of like what it was. Yeah, and it does work because you you really don't notice like two exact duplicates yeah. nearby or anything. Where'd go? No. Except the football zombies. Except for, yeah, except for football team or prisoners. Right. The guy is gone. Yes, so Jeremy. Jeremy uh, is gone. Get off my ride. Um, Maybe he ran out of those pet pills or whatever the fuck he had. Yeah, might have been that. He might have just got tired so he had to go somewhere to take a nap. Uh, like we... an epic five day nap. <laughs> Um, we know the military has been operating more in the city, so maybe, I don't know, maybe they got him. It's possible. Well, he, he wasn't really an illegal, or we don't know that he was, right? True, he could have been. Um, yeah, I guess. He wasn't with the illegals. He, like, he maybe... was just some guy killing zombies. Like... Yeah. He's yeah. gone. I think the assumption is that he's not, because if he was, he would have been hanging out with them. Yeah. Oh, just because he would be an illegal, he would hang out with other illegals? Yes. You really think they're that, dim like, one-dimensional? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Who else are they going to hang out with? They're, you know... They're illegal. Yeah, they're a... I can't think of the words I'm trying to use, but uh, we don't know what happened to him. Hopefully he's okay, because Jeremy... Was the bomb. Jeremy's a cool guy. You guys watch the television show Rick and Morty? I haven't yet, but I've been I've seen recommended a couple episodes. to me. I'm too in, and I'm like, eh, I don't know. Stick with it. It's Just really remember good. Bob's Burgers. Okay. Yeah, stick with it. Bob's Burgers, best show on TV. It's pretty good. I do like it. Like, I always thought it was boring. Like, but then I watched through, like, right. everything. And it's good. We've, I think we talked about this, like, two videos ago. <laughs> God, I love Bob's Burgers. I just rewatched the entire uh, series. Alright. Last week. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're done. No more Bob's Burgers. Yeah. Rick and Morty's great. Not yeah. Rick and Morty's either. We're, we're right at the end of the video, and we found the last part. Um, so there's just this like random little delivery office out down here in an alley, uh, where I guess it is. That, uh, that makes a gross sound. It, it's the Pukes of Hazard. Typical postal One. service, not delivery letters. Um, but yeah, this area is uh, closed off to us, which sucks because there is a blueprint in here as well. Although we're not going to get to the blueprint right now. It's everything. Better head back to the plane. Um, anyway, that's, that's where we're going to end the video. Uh, we're not going to grab that blueprint. We'll grab it at the very start of the next video. And we have all the plane parts. Have... <laughs> Yay! Yay. Time to go talk to Rhonda again. I like Rhonda. She's cool. Yeah, Big Rhonda. round.